on the screen, we in Boston, Massachusetts, chilling, chunking deuces, playing Madden in the den, you yep, throw up the deuces. Hello, Mad Nation, S Gibbs here for another exciting issue. It is not your den, it is not my den, but it is the Mad Den, aka the Laser Show, the internet's most passionate show about John Madden NFL 12 football. That's going to be changing, so uh, soon, it's going to be soon the most passionate show about John Madden NFL 13. Um, that's a couple months away, but uh, just uh, thinking about that as we're uh, heading forward here. Today we're going to talk about the fourth installment of Raven Maniac's Run and Gun Guide. It's the Shotgun Tight Flex, one of my favorite formations in the game. Why? Because it has hands down, prob not probably, hands down the best play in the game. Falcon Cross, Wide Receiver Cross, whatever you want to call it. Hands down, undisputed, best play in the game running, what, three years at this point. So um, we're going to dive right into it, we're getting with these adjustments. Um, I'm going to get the zoomy zoom on. Uh, quickly here, and we get the uh, zoom, zoom, zoom. Uh, zoom, zoom, zoom. So here's the zoom. Oh, need, need this, Larry. Need this guy. Need that guy to properly zoom. Right there. Right about there. So there's the zoom. We're chatting it up right now. Um, Talk with my man Ryan. Uh, gonna be playing in the C4 Compete Forever uh, tournament this weekend. Pretty, uh, pretty gonna be pretty awesome there. Um, let's talk about um, what we're running from this for one second. Just checking something here. My email. Okay, so against zone, obviously what's good about a compressed set is you get that man zone read from the zone, uh, against the zone formation. But um, what uh, Raven's saying, what Nick's saying is come out and they'll play bench switch. So if you're facing a zone, so here we're facing like a cover three, right, cover tray. If you are facing zone, it's pretty simple. Um, this is a play you're going to come out in. This is the base play from this set. You come out and you streak the inside guys and you just look for one of the corner rats. Um, to open up, it's it's whoever you like. I like going to Ramsey's Bard. Why? Got the hiccup. Sorry, because he's six six and he's a monster. I mean, it's it's pretty simple math. We've talked about this all the time. It's four against three deep. You're always gonna win that battle. Um, it's I mean, you can attack the seams if you want. It's a little harder throw to hit the seam, but with a guy like Elijah Manning there, you can deliver that ball of confidence. But see how the safeties can converge and they can make a play on the ball. Uh, so just be wary of that. So so if they do play man. Uh, from this set, and you wanted to use a play, uh, uh, you wanted to use this formation and this specific play to beat the man-to-man, -man. I would do slants, or crossing patterns, meshes, uh, streaks, things like that. That's what I would do, but um, this is actually a pretty good idea, too. I mean, one thing you could do is uh, place Cruz on drag, motion him out, and then he's going to come in, he's going to beat the inside guy, he's got to get a nice throw there, but um, show that again. So you motion Cruz here. He gets inside, uh, and as you can see, that just absolutely devastates man-to-man -man coverage. So that's one way um, you can beat that man-to-man -man coverage. Another way you can beat the man-to-man -man coverage, motion cruise out, snap before he gets set, and then deliver that pass in there. So as you can see, he gets inside position uh, for an easy gain. That's the way uh, Nick runs that specific play to beat man-to-man. -man. You could do the same thing with the B receiver on that side, but you, know, you don't want to really give up that route um, is what I'm thinking there. Now, if you are playing an all-out man attack, especially this is especially a man-to-man -man heavy uh, blitz package, right? So if they're really setting the cheddar, they're really setting cheddar cheese at you. Um, you know, love this play because of a couple specific things. I'm gonna enhance what Nick has has going here. He likes both these streaks and he likes dual crossing patterns. I personally, I don't mind that setup. It's good, but. You could get, I think, more bang for your buck setting up this way because that route by Cruz is not the best route in the game. It's not that it's not a good angled streak. The one by Manningham is a better angled streak. So what I would do um, is I would actually do this. I would um, block Bradshaw. Depending on how I feel about the pressure, I might block Cruz. But I'm motion uh, Barden, streak Barden. If I feel like I can get away with Cruz on the backside, I'll usually place him on a drag. Um, so. What I'm doing right now is I'm kind of guaranteeing myself that I can beat any coverage because if it is man to man, I'll I'll should have inside position on that Manningham streak or I can hit Barden. Uh, also have Cruz underneath on the drag. If it's zone, I have a great way to flood the zone. I have a deep streak. 
I have a deep corner and a, and a flat route coming underneath. So you kind of just kind of sit in the pocket, make your read, make your read, and then you can see that that route opens up there, um, and the defender made a nice play. But what you're looking for is that angled streak. Let me let me play this. I'm only getting started, and I won't stop now. So what you're looking for again, you're looking for that angled streak, and there you have it. That's that's the one we we're looking for uh, to Mario Manning, and he just roasts the coverage. Um, if it is zone defense, as you'll see here, shoot, uh, this will work. I mean, now let's just do it the right way. So if it is, um, if it is man to man uh, zone coverage, so we have a zone coverage here, cover tray. You take Ramsey's Barden, place him on a deep streak, and then motion him all the way to the right. Now, the what route we really want to spy here is either the underneath drag or the deep corner out by, by Nix. The deep corner out by Nix is going to get really open here, and it's a big time play. As you can see, you get a big chunk of yards. The deep, the what makes this whole combination, route combination tick, is that deep vertical that we motioned over there. He's in a clear space with that deep safety. He drives the safety deep, drives, 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 and lets that deep corner come underneath. What's also nice about this as well is if they don't have any underneath protection, say if they're zone blitzing, that drag route will be a very nice option. So let me show you what that would look like if, if they are zone blitzing you. And remember, what, what's a zone blitz? Typically I say a zone blitz is something that has no um, it has no flat routes, right? It just has like yellows. Um, that's all it has. It, it'd be something like that. Most zone blitzes don't have a flat route or they'll have uh, mostly just yellows. Um, so here it is again. Barden going over, Bradshaw blocking. So if there is no flat route, that route's going to open up underneath. So as you can see, yeah, the yellow zone jumped on him, but I should have let him clear in the space more. The idea is that you have a lot of different combos from that one play, especially one devastating man beater that they have to respect. Have to respect. Uh, the next play is hands down probably my favorite play in the game. Uh, he talks about the zone beater, which is wide receiver corners, but you got you already have a zone beater with. Um, with this play, so I don't think the zone corner wide receiver corners is is really needed. But next play is uh, is uh, our shotgun falcon cross, the best play in the game, hands down, guys. What you want to do in this play? I like to streak Nick's. He's my user catch option. Bradshaw motion him out. I mean, he's your number one read just about every snap on this play. You just motion him out, and you're trying to get him out wide uh, for an easy gain. The next route you want to take a look at would be, say if it's man-to-man, -man, you have Barden on the left side. Um, so you hear Barden, he's coming to come up, he's going to break up wide. As you can see against man-to-man, -man, that route's devastating. You also have the two crossing patterns over the middle of the field, so whether it's man or zone, it doesn't really matter. You still have those inside crossing patterns. You can still make a read there. Uh, oh, I like this guy underneath, sure, I'll take Victor Cruz all day. Um, and then again, if if you if you want to get the user catch game in, you can. You can work a user catch game in. That's what I love about this play. It's great for user catching. Uh, the deep streak, Knicks all day, 99 catching traffic, 99 deep press, beast mode. Uh, so Falcon Cross has a lot of different potential, a lot of different things you can do with it. So just get in the lab, work on it. Um, again, one of the best plays in the game. You, you got you got a. I'm a firm, big firm believer that it's one of those plays that you really need in your arsenal. You need it. You need it in your arsenal. I don't. I mean, some people say you don't. You don't need it, but I personally think you need it in your arsenal. It makes people respect what you're doing. Uh, that's your base play. I would always come out in that play, make them defend that, and then branch off to my the rest of my scheme. So you know, think about that. Uh, we'll be back for the last installment of this series, show 214, the Gun Five Wide Bunch. This is uh, Ravens. Uh, this is Ravens. Uh, his, uh, his 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 baby. This is his uh, binky. This is his uh, this is his brainchild. This five wide bunch. It's tough to defend, guys. I play them all the time. It is tough to defend. So as always, guys, we are changing the mad community, and we are doing it one snap at a time. Hello, Mad Nation. I skip here for another exciting mission. It is not your game. It is not my game. But it is the Mad Game, aka the Laser Show.